Recently, we checked out Fan Home, reviewed their customer service, and this 24 inch Iron Man. And now we have the opportunity to look at their working, half scale R2D2. And ask the question is it worth it? Better keep watching. This is your Geek Fix. Recently, I started seeing a lot of ads for Fan Home. It's a subscription service which allows you to purchase large scale models and figures that you receive in parts and put together over a period of time. And it's an experience. It comes with magazines that tell you all about whatever it is that you're into, and it's very, very cool. Subscription services and part building are something that's been around for quite some time. In fact, one of the most famous builds was the D'Agostini Millennium Falcon, which was full scale and, and highly detailed and the exact replica of the Millennium Falcon from Empire Strikes Back. Like they actually scanned the parts and created it. And that one you also built over a large period of time and, and it was very, very cool. D'Agostini also has a build your own R2-D2, which has been released now by Fan Home. And if you've seen the ads, this thing is something else. I mean, basically it's supposed to have a sentry mode where it can just drive around and figure out an area. You have the ability to remote control it. It has cameras built in. It has a projector for being able to project uh, Leia or Luke. It has panels that open up and, and even a lightsaber that pops out of the top. I mean, it's pretty intense and you build it. You build it yourself. I believe that this has 100 issues that are related to that build and it takes about two years to do. And in addition to the R2, you also get other gifts. And you have these magazines that tell you not only how to put together R2, but also special information about R2 and Star Wars. So it's a very fan service service. Uh, but, of course you're talking about subscriptions, which means that you're paying across a couple of years and, and that money adds up. Now, the total amount, depending on where you are, if it's in the United States or in Europe, uh, is about the same as if you were to try to buy something of this size out of the store, uh, of this size and quality, or at least at least that's what we'd suspect. But I was concerned. I was concerned, one, about uh, whether or not all the parts would arrive or or if there was going to be any kinds of problems with quality or was there going to be any kind of problem with customer service and I tried to read up on some of that and did see some people of course always have something that's out there and so I looked into those and and I even brought it up in my last video uh, while live streaming and had a conversation with others who had purchased the Fan Home service in the UK as well as the things that they had built and what they thought about them and and I said I'd be happy to reach out to them, or if they want to reach out to me, then I'd be happy to, to look into it further. And within a couple of days, I got an email uh, saying that they'd like me to uh, give it a try. And so they sent me uh, the R2-D2 and also sent me this Iron Man, which, which I have now already assembled and reviewed. And I've already built that one, and I feel pretty good about that one. And one thing I liked about the Iron Man build was that it came uh, in parts that allowed me to build the entire head with one volume, and with another volume I was able to build the entire foot. And so you get a little bit of closure. This is a larger scale uh, figure, and so for that reason, I don't know that they're gonna be able to give you that kind of completeness each time. You might already know I'm a big fan of Star Wars. It was one of the first movies I ever saw in my life. And uh, honestly, I'm pretty excited about this figure. Now, I will say that they donated these to me. So they're, they're giving me uh, the subscription. They wanted to pay me a fee to sponsor the videos, but I turned that down because I wanted to make sure that I could be objective. So while they did provide me with the models to review, and uh, I'm identifying that on here at the same time, they didn't sponsor this video. They haven't paid me anything additional. Although down the road, if I do like this product, maybe I maybe I will let them sponsor some things. So, so let's see, let's try this out. I'm really excited to bust it open. First off, on the box, at the top we have the Fan Home logo. Uh, on the back, also the Fan Home logo. And on the sides, we have all the social media that's related. And when we open it up, we've got, uh, right off the bat, we have this pamphlet, which is the Journey begins here. Uh, this is the Fan Home letter. Uh, that letter says, Dear Modeler, welcome to Fan Home. We're glad that you joined us and are sure that you'll love this completely addictive journey into build-up modeling. 
In every package, you'll receive parts of the model and magazines with easy to follow instructions. The magazines also include amazing articles, interesting facts, and plenty of hints and tips. Enjoy the journey, the Fan Home Team. And then down here we have the actual, that is the actual figure that we're gonna be building. Uh, that is not a capture. And it has the Disney and Lucasfilm and Star Wars logos on it. This next part opens kind of funny. The Iron Man that we already started building. Up, up here we have the car from Fast and Furious. We have all the companies that they're licensing with. We have Naruto and it looks like Street Fighter. So that's cool. Those are some other products that they are gonna be offering. I wouldn't mind checking out the car either. But at uh, any rate, and then we have this first piece right here. When I opened up the Iron Man one, I was wondering if uh, I had received an extra magazine because here's the two magazines, the two volumes that we're gonna be building with. And uh, so what was this, I was wondering. And in this case, what you have, you open it up outside. That is, again, this is what the actual R2-D2 looks like, the one that we're gonna be putting together. And uh, inside, you get to see some sneak peeks of what the kit, as well as the manuals and the magazines will have in them and some of the things that we're gonna be doing with them. We also see R2-D2 with all those parts open and sticking out from the lightsaber at the top to over here we have some of the tools sticking out. And then on the inside, we have this poster. Um, I think this poster isn't as big as my other one that I got for Iron Man, but uh, there is the R2-D2 poster. It has some different details and information about him and uh, shows, this is by the way, half scale of the real R2-D2 that we're gonna be building. So that might be act the actual size. Shown in actual size, sure enough. So that's exactly how big it would be, is from here to there. So there you go. And then on the back, we have the gifts that will be coming along the way. Again, I don't know that I'm gonna be getting any of the gifts because I have a free subscription. Um, so my guess is that's only when you actually pay for it. Uh, the first gift, is three prints, um, which is pretty cool, including uh, the second gift, which is a giant Darth Vader vinyl sticker. Uh, the third gift is this R2-D2 mug. The fourth gift is a notebook. And the fifth gift, in this case, is a baseball cap that has R2-D2 on it. It actually looks, that's actually a pretty nice baseball cap. But at any rate, then we have the two volumes, or two magazines, uh, that will give us instructions on what we need to do and all of our details about R2-D2. And then we have the, uh, this is for the volume one packet and the volume two packet of parts. And then at the bottom we have some uh, paper. So there you go. So we're gonna start off with issue one here. And uh, like I said, issue one has these parts right here. Now, I did something with my Iron Man build that I'm gonna do here as well, which is that when you peel off the back of this, you can keep this plastic part to help organize some parts. Uh, I mean, literally, there's gonna be a lot of parts to this that we're gonna have to hold on to very long term, small parts, even screws. And so, for that reason, this is good for helping to keep that organized. And so uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to uh, keep all my parts here in the plastic. And so they're ready to roll. Then I've got my magazine here. One thing to remember in relation to these subscription services is that what you're paying for isn't just the build. Uh, it's an experience of being able to delve into the subject at hand. In this case, we're talking about R2-D2 and Star Wars. And so the issue will also give a lot of other details and information. So in this one, we'll be building R2, but we'll also be learning about inside of Star Wars, the R2-D2 story begins, and understanding robotics, how LED lights work. When we get into the first page, on the back of every first page, by the way, they have information for being able to contact customer services and the different departments, as well as different types of information related to the table of contents. 
This magazine has a lot more in it than uh, my Iron Man one did uh, in some ways. So the Iron Man one uh, covered a lot of information about Iron Man, but this one is not only going to talk about R2-D2 and the history of R2-D2 and even a little bit about Star Wars, but also gets into information about technology uh, that we're going to be working with. So. So this talks about the influences for R2-D2, uh, which include, surprisingly, Johnny Eck was part of that inspiration. I had no idea about that. Um, talks about silent running and, and uh, then shows us also some of the initial concept of art, uh, this time painted. We get to see some of the initial versions of the Stormtroopers, a little bit of information about George Lucas, and then getting into Astromech. So what is astromech? Well, astromech are the different droids that are able to perform duties in relation to mechanics. They're able to fix things. They are sort of like IT. Uh, they keep things running. And so that's what R2 is. He's a mechanical droid. And then it even gets into the tools that pop out of the front, which this includes, by the way, is moving parts uh, with the tools that pop out of the different panels. Uh, it gets into the rocket boosters. Um, like, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I was kind of disappointed by the rocket boosters. <laughs> I have a case study about R2-D2. And then gets into data capture and projection systems, um, scanners, and some of the different technology that supposedly R2 has. And then we get into learning about LEDs. Uh, what they are, how they work, uh, all the details because we're going to be using some LEDs and it even on the next page has the LED panel that we'll be installing. Very cool, the history of LEDs. And then we have the introduction to our parts. Now like I said, if I were you, I'd keep it inside the plastic container uh, just so that you know what is where. And we get to see what we're going to be putting together and what part of his head that is related to. So it looks like primarily I'm going to be putting it together that LED assembly. And uh, there's also something here that I don't have yet, I don't think, but uh, we'll see. So, oh, this is why. It says right here in stage four of the assembly, you'll see how to connect these parts up as shown above. Um, and so I'll be able to test it through flashing red or blue, things like that. So. So this is his processor state indicator that we're gonna be working on. So, at any rate. So first step, it says right here, is that we're gonna be taking this piece right here, and I'll be getting our LED cluster. And then what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking this little area right here, and I'm gonna be just dropping it right into that part right there. And then I'm gonna need my screws. Now, with the Iron Man kit, the screws were all uh, lettered or numbered. In this case, we have some black screws and we have some silver screws. And uh, so I need the black screws first, it looks like, according to this. Uh, I also like that in the Iron Man kit, it had baggies that could be resealed. So I might need to get myself some sandwich baggies uh, to use over here. Now. This right here is the tool that this comes with. It is a screwdriver. I don't know if this one's magnetized, which, yes it is. Uh, so the Iron Man kit also has a screwdriver that is red for Iron Man. This one's black. And I do like that this one has a little bit of a longer shaft, I think, for being able to, to get these in here. But I'm gonna be screwing in three screws here around that. Assembly. Um, I had exactly three screws, screws too, uh, which with the Iron Man kit, it seemed like I had extras, which I wasn't sure if it was because I assembled it wrong or if it was because they gave me some extras, but uh, in the end, I think it was just extras. So now I've got that all screwed in. Now I'm going to be grabbing this cable over here and I'll need to unravel that. I like the cables a lot better in this than I did the Iron Man. I'm going to be inserting the size that fits on here, which I think is the smaller, you have the smaller of the two, and just lining it up with those pins and sticking it in until it clicks. And uh, all right, now the assembly should look like this, which it does. 
just like that. And I'm gonna move my parts out of the way here. I still have some screws here. I still have some parts that are in my kit, um, but that is everything that we're gonna do for volume one. And so volume one is complete. I will say too that in the other package, in the Iron Man package, on the back of the magazines it told you uh, what the next magazine was gonna come out and what was gonna be in it. And then it also told you where they had their reference material from. Um, this one doesn't do that, uh, but it looks like, it looks like the next one doesn't do that either. So I don't know if that's something they're gonna do in the future. It did have a statement on the inside though about what was gonna be coming up soon. So now we're ready for issue two. Uh, and in issue two, also the first page, we have our contents, we have all of our contact information. And then we get into uh, designing R2-D2 part two. So giving us more details, kind of where it left off with issue one. Uh, talking a little bit more about the actor, even who had to be inside of it. We get to see the early version of R2 as it was still being scratch builded. We also get to see a little bit of information about other droids um, and how BB-8 uh, was actually puppeted across the desert. You have J.J. Abrams related to the newer movies. It gets into C-3PO and information about some of his parts. A case study about C-3PO and, and R2-D2. Uh, it even gets into the whole Anakin building C-3PO. I don't know, that's a part of the story that bothers me. <laughs> but at the same time, uh, yeah, so supposedly he was like an after school project for Anakin Skywalker. Let me get to learn about integrated circuits, ICs, and the anatomy of those circuits, as well as their history and robotics. And now we're to the page where we get all of our assembled parts. It uh, shows us what's inside the card right here and uh, the pieces that we're going to be putting together. But at the same time, we're also going to be using some of the parts from Volume 1's card. So, moving on to the first step here. Once again, I'm going to be pulling off the backing, keeping my card with all the pieces inside of it. Pull this piece off like that. Now I have both of my sheets ready to go. Parts I'm needing first off, there are this arm right here, and then I also need to get out all my little metal pieces. It looks like pretty much I'm ready to take everything out of that card. Uh, all right, so we've got all that sitting out. Then I'm going to take the this piece right here. Uh, the stabilizer is what it is. And I'm gonna be sticking that right into a part from my last kit, this piece right here. And uh, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking this and I'll be sitting it just like that inside of there. And then we need to turn it over and I'm gonna be using the screws that are silver screws, uh, which I think came with my last kit. That's where these ones come in. Again, don't lose any of these. And can you imagine waiting a couple months and or waiting till the very end and then you're missing some crucial piece? It'd be horrible. Oh no! <laughs> or if the piece shoots off the table, that'd be bad too. All right, so now I'm gonna turn it over and stick in one of these and screw it in. And turn it over, stick in my screws, and then I'm just gonna tighten those down. Okay. Same time trying not to over tighten them. Okay. And so that looks pretty good like that. And now I'm taking both of these pieces right here that, putting those in there, and then, and then flipping it over, and again, two more screws, it looks like, and another one right here. Okay, that looks pretty good too, right there. Now, uh, in the next step, I'm gonna be attaching two different parts. So this part and this part are going to be connecting together uh, with each other. Oh, like this. 
This is the hydraulic arm piston. Uh, surprisingly, at the same time, this is not a part that screws together or anything like that. It's, uh, it's one that we're actually going to try and put some glue into. And so, uh, liquid super glue. It's very runny and can be tricky to apply. Small amounts needed. You may find it easier to run a blob onto something and scrape the card. Pick it up the drops and put it on a pin or something like that, cocktail stick. So that's what I did. I have some different options when it comes to my glues. I even got one of these special tools, which I'm not planning to use on this. But I'm going to take a little bit here and uh, I'm going to put it on the back of my R2-D2 card, just like so. And then I'm going to take my blob here and carefully I'm going to put it inside of this. Not too much. This actually feels like metal. Surprise me, but it's not. I don't think it is. So the best way to do this actually is I get a good amount of it on there and then when I put it in what will happen is uh, if I let it sit for about five minutes it will be nice and hardened so that is my plan uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I've got this little block right here and uh, I've also got this little pin uh, put a spot of super glue on the pin oh man really I wonder why I'm not having to screw this stuff together uh, but I don't know At any rate all right so I'll stick it in there, got some glue on it, putting it in, pushing it down. Yeah, so that'll be glued into place. So then this part, it just lot latches in. I hope the glue is just kind of to additionally hold it and it's not relying on the glue only. But uh, at any rate, so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to be putting it onto this arm right here. Uh, yep, just like this, and uh, I'm going to be connecting it down here, like that, and uh, that's it. Uh, surprisingly, I'm not actually screwing in any, any of these parts yet. So it says I can, I can put things together kind of like this, uh, just to, to generally see what it's going to look like after everything's put together. And I still have two screws that I do believe go into this. Um, now it doesn't tell us to screw on this part. Uh, I don't know if it's because we're gonna be refitting it later. So I'm just gonna loosely put it on though with these screws so that I don't lose the screws. And then it says that you can put this other piece over it to basically see how it's gonna look when you uh, apply them together later on. But uh, we're not going to be doing that today. Uh, that's something we're going to actually do in another phase of the build. And that's the end of volume two. Uh, once again, there's nothing on the back. And I still have some pieces that I want to keep track of for later on. So I'm going to just kind of slot those back into here for use later. There are some pieces I didn't get to use yet, uh, like these eye pieces. Um, some of them. This, is, this feels like it's aluminum right here. And so there are some metal pieces. I was wrong about that. And, uh, and then I also have, uh, I think this is for diffusing the light. But um, at any rate, so those, those are some parts that I'm gonna have to hold on to for next time. But this is what we've got so far. So reviewing this so far, honestly, it feels pretty good. Now this is not all metal. Uh, like the Iron Man one was, but I think the reason for that is because they needed to be lighter in order for it to be able to move around and do some of the things it's going to be doing. Um, but the pieces are still very nicely made. Like there's no areas that I needed to go through and sand or or to prepare beforehand. So that's pretty good. I'll also say that it, all the information was really helpful and detailed. It's, it's great to be able to learn so much about each part, literally, that you're putting together, not just in the fictional world, but also in the real world. Of the parts that I didn't put together, the paint job is really exceptional. I mean, really, really well done. Now, while the screwdriver was included in order to assemble this, uh, at the same time, 
the only thing that wasn't was glue. Uh, on this occasion, we had to use some glue. But I know from experience that it's hard to ship glue, uh, especially super glue right now, um, and, and if you exceed certain amounts of it too. Um, so for that reason, I know a lot of stuff that's, that I order doesn't come with glue. I always have to provide it myself. Nonetheless, a very entertaining and fun to put together model. I'm hoping to get sooner to the, the other parts that are going to be uh, moving and doing different things. Now you do need to remember this is a two year project so this is about how fast we're going um, during that time. But the final product looks really cool so hopefully stay with us as we continue to review each of these packages as they arrive. And if you're interested in learning more about Fanhome, check out the links below. Let me know what you think of this. Uh, comment below. Also, if you've actually put this together, uh, leave comments below or, or what your process is if you're going through doing it right now yourself. And if you're building along with us, let us know that too. Uh, send us pictures of your build. Like, subscribe, comment below, and make sure that you hit that reminder bell so that you know when new videos are coming out. This is your Geek Fix.